Well, you guys already guessed it. This fit tier, aka the Ifudo Rain for the Task Shooter, has been received a buff in the 3.2 recent update in BT Battles 2. So, we're going to be testing out and showcase the newly buff for the Ifudo Rain inside of the game. Since I know the Ifudo Rain just got another buff inside of Battles 2, we will find out if Ifudo Rain is actually good because we decide to take it late and we somehow defend every rushes along with the Ifudo Rain buff in it. So, if you guys are new to my channel and want to see more content like this, make sure you sub and also smash the like button if if not already but without further ado let's just jump right into today's video all right here we go ladies and gents we got this map plutonia mines and we're going to be using normal gwendolyn tag village and glue so we're going to be starting off with the task shooter all the way at the back and hopefully we'll probably go for the blade shooter all the way hopefully we don't screw it up on round one so hopefully we can probably still get up to the faster shooting uh, but there we go with that. And this guy will be going for Striker Jones, which is going to be his hero. So I'm feeling that this guy might somehow going for maybe bomb strategy. Oh, yep, he's going for the bomb. So he's probably going to be using some type of bomb eagle strat or maybe or so. Um, looks like he ended the tower boosting. Oh, he's trying not to leak down some lives here. Okay, I'm going to go for Gwendolyn just to be sure we don't leak. Uh, but let's get that up as of right now. And yeah, hopefully we're going to see if we can try to take it late. Because again, our goal for today's video is we're going to try to test out and showcase the newly buff for the Task Shooter, which was buffed in the 3.2 recent update in BT The Battles 2. So we'll go for the Blade Shooter first as of right now. But if you guys don't know what they have done to the Infinite Rain buff, I will go over these changes here. So what they did is the 500 Infinite Rain rain damage used to be down to 8, it will be now to 11. And they explained this build receiving a few major buffs in the past. Infinite Rain still doesn't see much action and we're giving it another damage increase. This time to its rain in order to improve the group's popping power. So yeah, we're going to be seeing how good is it now. Since I know the Infinite Rain did get another decent amount of buff inside the battles too like last time I, I think they decided to give another buff on the infinite rain i think it has to be the fireball damage that allows it to pop every sort amount of the mod class which is going to be pretty interesting so they decided to give it another buff but this time it's only for the rain damage it's now to 8 to now 11 so i'm very, very excited to test out the buffs and i know you guys are pretty happy about the tax shooter buff or should i say the infinite rain buff i mean the infinite rain did get a lot ton of decent amount of buffs like in the last previous update ago um, but we're gonna send it with some wise and I think we're gonna switch it with some um, Maybe with some group greens just able to play a little bit of it off here And we'll go for the rain of fire as of right now actually so there we go And yes, we're currently in the game mode in player of fire since you guys know what the player of fire is It's basically in the game mode if you do somehow rather go eco your eco amount will give you per double But if I rather send my opponent an eco like for example, I'm sending with some group greens to him It barely send my balloons to myself which basically is gonna be pretty interesting since I know we're gonna try to able to send my opponent a rush, but it will send it to our own. So that way we could probably just test out how good is the newly buff infinite range going to be. And looks like this guy's going for a banana farm. I mean, with bomb plus with the farm, I think he might be bringing out maybe something like village maybe mortar i'm assume because striker only gives buffs to the bomb shooter and plus with the mortar if he does have the third tier upgrade in it oh he's going for the bank oh is he gonna try to do an imf loan trick i believe he is going to try to do that i don't even know if he's gonna do that but if he does then i have a feeling this guy might not somehow try to win this for sure so let's go ahead and go for we'll go for the upgrade to the overdrive and i'll go for right now to the village all the way to get to the power and mentoring Hopefully, we'll easily get up to the better position here, just to be sure. And it looks like he went for the IMF loan. So, if you guys may know about the IMF loan issues, about the bug, basically, a lot of people in the Battles 2 community are saying that the IMF loan are definitely one of the most broken farm four tiers of all, because you can easily get a lot of time per infinite money every single time you want to use spam abilities on an IMF loan. It gives you, like, 20k. If you rather spend a lot of abilities, you'll easily get like, I think around 30k, like in the early game or in the mid game. Like literally about the IMF loan, it's definitely one of the most overpowered farm of all. So that way people are going to be abusing very, very often inside of battles too. Um, hopefully we'll go for another task shooter. So hopefully we'll go for the overdrive. So let's go for that. Uh, but yeah, Ninja Key will probably patch this 
very very soon because sometimes many people are going to be abusing a lot with using the imf loan trick inside the highest arena in hall of masters especially in clans because sometimes if i rather hop it into um into the clan games if i find some players that are abusing imf loan like they're just gonna have a lot ton of the infinite money by using the imf loan technique like it's just not fair like why they decide to abuse it it's just literally overpowered when you try to spend a couple more imf loans all over the entire map like for example uh, but he went for the upgrade to the blue impact just able to help out and once we stay able to go for the if on a rain then i think we might somehow go for the strip to go for some better defense here um i'm not sure what should i place down another task shooter i believe this will be a good spot i think this will be the if on a rain spot if i want to see if i could place down the good old if on a rain i believe we might somehow making sure that we managed to somehow defend some good infinite rushes especially against like a counter fortified bats and much more with it so once we go all the way to get to the higher rounds then we will somehow send my opponent like an all-out fortified bats against this guy but he's going for the sub like i forgot to mention earlier he's going for the bomb farming sub along with striker so i'm not too sure why this guy is going to be using some type of farm strategy but it's player fire like there's nothing that this guy could do just able to beat me with it all I have to do is just to try to get up to a better late game defense here, and you'll get the win for sure here. Um, so we're gonna that we're gonna go for this upgrade to the info rain, and we'll go for the bond cross path. Don't forget about that because bond cross path. I forgot they decided to buff for the bond cross path with the fireball, so that way it does give extra per damage or pierce. But yeah, basically bond cross path is definitely way better to able to go for the info rain cross path. Uh, speaking of that, I need to make sure that we do need to play a little bit of a safer. And I know we got the overdrives plus with the tag zone in it, but I need to get a lot ton of overdrives, by the way. So let's see if there's a way we could probably just get a lot ton of the overdrives. Oh, maybe I should place on the village like right towards the middle because basically with the village, we could probably just get up to the primary mentoring or primary training. So all the task shooters will easily get bust from the village. So that way we could probably still be sure if we do have a lot ton of the task shooters like between the triangles. So that's why we're going to be going for the good old primary XATs on the middle here because that way we could probably still give a lot ton of bust from the from all the task shooters between the triangles and much more with it. Um, but let's go ahead and go for this upgrade to the Infinite Rain once again. And we'll have the bond cross path once again. We can easily start be sure of it. And we're going to start prepared to go for the straight up defense here if we actually need to do so. Because again, we do need to get a lot ton of the task shooters to start prepared to go for a lot ton of counter rushes here against like fortified bats and much more with it. Um, after we get everything set up, then we're going to see how good is the newly buff if on a rain is going to be. Like, I'm feeling that if on a rain buff might be a pretty strong fit tier of all. So, we're going to find out if it's pretty good. If not, it might not be pretty as good, though, to be honest. Anyway, this guy has a lot ton of the Moab Assassins. He's got the fit tiers for the bomb, which is Moab Eliminator, Bloom Crush, and last, the Bomb Blitz. And speaking of Bomb Blitz, I have heard that Bomb Blitz is definitely pretty good against any sort of amount of... You could somehow, like, do this to try to be able to leak down some trivia, like, camos. So, that way, the passive ability will easily activate when you're, when camos or any Moab class balloon is about to leak. That thing is definitely pretty much insane if you rather activate with using the passive ability on the bomb blitz um but let's go ahead and keep on building a couple more attacks all the way and i need a lot of space so we could probably still be sure so we can have room on the task shooters um let's see if there's a spot if i could fit i don't think there's like a good spot uh i think i messed up the spot here all right it's fine to say at least but we're gonna keep on building once again all the overdrive spends because that way we could probably still prepare to go for the all-out counter and look how much eco that we got we got 48k and 49k oh my god we have like 1.55 million on the dot here like i am so freaking shocked that we barely got a lot ton of progression nico here uh we're gonna sell my blade shooter because i don't need you anymore we do have the super mail at the back so we do need to go for a lot ton of the straight up defense here and i'm not sure oh he sent me one already okay i think i'm gonna stop equaling here so let's uh go for the glue storm just able to help out use my homo defense and i think we might still shred that infinite rushes here like this strategy is definitely going nuts here yo that is definitely pretty insane i mean to be fair the strategy is definitely pretty awesome also is he good against that oh geez he's about to snuck by how many pots for the infinite rain only 296 that's all uh don't tell me this guy might somehow die to it though. Oh, he's got a couple more first strikes. I think this guy used all the ability just able to insta pop everything. Well, I guess this guy decided to do that as well. Oh, send me another one. Oh, with DT's behind. Okay, let's go ahead and go for the home of defense. 
use everything, use super mail. And do I need a tower boost against that? I don't think so. You know what? Let's just tower boost. Just for the fun. Just for the fun, guys. Even though we're both going to be shredding that rush. Also, is he dead? I think he might be dead to the DETs here. I do think he might 100% be dead to a DET. So... It looks like he might be dead here. He's got the Energizer at the back. Like, Energizer is definitely pretty good because that way you'll get the abilities back. Oh, he's dead to this. I think he might be dead here. 639k per pops. I mean, that's not all, but I guess we'll probably have to take that for sure. So, it looks like... Oh my god, he might be dead here. No, he's not. Holy cow, how is this guy surviving with bomb farm and sub in late game? I got no clue, man. Um... Let's start building a lot of ton of the Tash Shooters. I mean, we could probably still send Bomb Pundit a all-out rush. So we need a lot of Tash Shooter spam so that we could probably still destroy the infinite rushes. Actually, we'll send it right now because this guy decided to counter me. Um, so let's run the Bloom Booster with some with some stuff. And let's go ahead. Oh, I've got the wrong cross path. Alright, use my Tower Boost. Use everything. Um... Oh my god, that's a lot of uh, BADs here. Oh my god, that's a lot. <laughs> Holy freaking cow. I knew that this strategy is still one of the most overpowered late game strat of all time. That is definitely pretty insane to see. How many pops for the Ifuna Rain? Only 1 million pop? Holy cow, that's a lot of pops for the Ifuna Rain. Um, I need to make sure we have to micro my homeland. And I gotta micro my glue storm. Uh, okay, use that. Super mail this. And we still win the game. I mean, to be fair, I think the Infinite Rain is definitely pretty much better than the last time. But 1 million pops and 304k. I'm pretty happy that we actually got the good old pop counts from the Infinite Rain. So we will somehow take that for the content since <laughs> literally this guy decided to do this as a try to run. Um, I don't know what you called it. Like, he's going for the Bomb Farmer sub technique here. Also, the animation, that looks really cool. It looks pretty cute if you see the animation from the Gwendolyn. We got that from the Valentine Showcase, so <laughs> she looks pretty cool to me, though. But, again, let me know if you guys think about the Infinite Rain down in the comments down below, because the Infinite Rain buff is actually pretty insane now, since they decided to receive another decent amount of buffs inside of Battles 2. But we'll take that for the content. So, again, just for long, though. But anyway, I'm going to call for today's video, so I hope you guys do enjoy it. If you guys have not sub. Please subscribe and also smash the like button if you enjoyed today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one. And peace everybody.